I could do with some more answers. <sighs> and I find your lack of focus highly disturbing, especially in these difficult times. You should keep your mind on the training. Sorry about that. I find it kind of difficult to concentrate when I don't know where we're going with this, nor why. Please try. Further escalation of events is foreseeable. We need you ready and prepared. Well, a few answers would really help with that. <sighs> if you insist. But keep them brief. Prepared for what? What do you want me to do? As I said, develop vital survival skills. Immortality is a powerful gift, yet recurrent dying would complicate things considerably. Since we are the Keepers, we will devote ourselves to keeping you alive, among other things. I still feel pretty lost. What's happening here? How did I get here? And what is a Keeper? We are the spiritual leaders of the Naboru. The supreme race of Wardenia. <laughs> and Wardenia would be... The planet you are standing on. The planet in turmoil. We need to act fast and save it. Seriously? Oh, all right, that's the last straw. Why should I be the one to save the whole planet? The answer to your question is simple. And you know it already. Your gift of perpetual death. When we have more outputs to share on this topic, I will happily provide you with all the data. Now, you should focus on paying your debt. You talk about that debt a lot. I don't remember owing you a lot anything, although I don't remember much at all. Any help there? Your Christums were failing. We have used considerable expertise and diligence to save you and your kindred. Reciprocity is highly expected. So those kindred... Your choice of words can be really confusing. What do you mean by kindred? The other humans. I presume you've met them already. Two more males and one female, saved from the Christums. Those... Christems? That's crystal stems of some kind? Coffins for the sleep of the Ascended. Coffins? I really had that weird dream of being in one, and I couldn't get out, and then this monster... Hallucinations are a perfectly normal symptom after being woken up. I have told you already. Sure. And what's that sleep of the Ascended? I see your grasp of things is rather low, and I am losing my patience. This is not the right time to explore the foundations of our faith. Yes, we all strive for ascension, but all in due time. Could you let me focus on more important matters and proceed already? Can I ask just one last thing? Uh, is there a lake around here? Lake? Are you serious? Why would you ask? Oh, no reason. I thought I could freshen up a bit, maybe? We have more serious problems than your smell, human. Focus on your training. You have wasted too much of my precious time already. I could do with some more answers. <sighs> and I find your lack of focus highly disturbing. Especially in these difficult times. You should keep your mind on the training. Sorry about that. I find it kind of difficult to concentrate when I don't know where we're going with this, nor why. Please try. Further escalation of events is foreseeable. We need you ready and prepared. Could I? No, not you. Not anymore. Stop talking, start working.
Master, you bring medicine for injured Bractors? So, that medical kit? Yes, Master. Master Brings? I think I told you to stop calling me that. Sorry, Master. This is all I could get. Will that do? Yes, Master. Thank you. Will save many burn and mutilated. And look what I accidentally find. May it make you stronger than messy masters. So, you have a little under the counter stash here. Everybody equal. Friends of our kin, more equal. I see. Well, thank you. I thank you. On behalf of Rat... Uh, we thank you. On behalf of Rat what? Rat volunteers. That's how they call us. Lot of irony around. But do not worry. Go train. Okay. I hope I won't regret this. All be good. Promise. Many practice feel better. You're not like Naboru. You true friend to us. Ready. Good. It's time for the next step. You will train with your human counterparts. I suppose you wonder why. Uh, no, not really. The idea of not having to do more killing actually sounds just fine to me. Good. You might think that challenging Noboru or rats might be more beneficial for you. True, the chances you'll fight other humans are slim, but with them, you can always fight to the death. It is proven to bring the best results. And since none of you can really die, death is merely a technicality. That sounds like a rather painful technicality to me. It's the best way to learn in the short time we have. No second chances, no room for errors. You must do your best from the beginning. I don't feel ready. Then make yourself ready. Time is scarce. I talked with the giant rat in the armory. He mentioned they are here as slaves. Ah, Gok. And it's big, filthy rat trap. You can't believe a word it says. So, they're not slaves? Of course they're slaves. What else would they be? We were trying to show them the civilized ways. But did they accept our superior wisdom and culture? Not at all. Not a single bit of gratitude, I can tell you. Always rebellious. Always have in their own mind. We keep them on a leash for a reason. Their tiny brains can't grasp more complex things like order, laws of nature and justice. And do you treat them well? As well as they deserve. They get food, a place to sleep, reasonable punishments. That's more than they would have out there in the wild. You can tell that to it the next time you see it. I see you are ready. Good. It's time for the next step. You will train with your human counterparts. I suppose you wonder why. And no, not really. The idea of not having to do more killing actually sounds just fine to me. Good. 
You might think that challenging Noboru or Rats might be more beneficial for you. True, the chances you will fight other humans are slim, but with them, you can always fight to the death. It is proven to bring... And since... That sounds... It's the best. You must do your best from the beginning. Well, let's do my best then. Marco, enter and commence. Ah. Time to kick the newbie's ass. Beaten by a newbie, huh? Whoa! What's going on? Wow! I knew you had it in you, Silver. This new oak needs to be reported immediately. You have to inform the Patriarch. Yeah, really looking forward to being subtly insulted over and over again. No. You'd be more than pleased. Take this. Go. Right. What is it? My lucky ring. Toughened in the hell of war. Take it and go. Go, go, go. Hasten to the Patriarch immediately. What's the fuss anyway? Why would the Patriarch care? Your victory is the fuss. Your weapon skills. Mark has been training for over two months. How did you even... Ah, never mind. Go and report the good news at once.
Wowzers! That was some serious fighting, Silver. So nice to see Marco's skinny ass kicked. Thanks. I honestly have no idea how that happened. Maybe you had some fencing classes as a kid, you know, fancy and rich family and all that. Yeah, I doubt that. Anyway, I'm sure Maltus will be jumping for joy. He always takes those things so seriously. Prodigal weakling returns. What do you want from me? Me? Nothing. Honestly. Tobias just says hello. Are you toying with my patience? Oh, sorry. He also said that I should, I quote, report this new hope immediately. What kind of new hope? You would have never guessed. It seems that I'm not a weakling after all. I knocked out Marco, and also Tobias's socks off while I was at it. Impossible. I would need to see that with my own... What was that? Lowly. The Queen is coming. That's too early. Too early. Give me your weapons. Tobias, dispatch the order crew to their respective missions and come back. We'll keep Silver here. He's not ready. Hide now. When the time is right, sneak out and acquire the rod. I'll stall the queen. Bring the light and watch the arm, and I'll meet you there. Your Majesty, what an unexpected honor. Silence! Now go! Move in! Your Majesty, I don't understand words. Silence! You low life! You have broken your vows. Marshal, do you- We know you are hiding forbidden technology, and- Dear Gragas, follow the procedure. We first need to acquire proof to support your claims. Patriarch, our guards are probing your premises rigorously, and if they find anything unorderly-
So, what do we have here? 1037, this would more, although it doesn't have, actually there are a nope, or this, well it's, I knew it. You are the one. Well done. Close the door. Perfect. Give me the rod now, so I can hide it. Here you go. But it was a very close cut. Next time, I'll just do the things my way. No more sneaking. Just give me the rod. Quick. Here you go. Flawless. I will make sure it doesn't fall into unworthy hands. Oh, a secret room. Now it all makes sense. You stay out. It's not safe for you this time. Open the door! The Queen is known to lose her temper. We should not make her wait. What are you two lovebirds doing here? Her Majesty asks for your presence. She wishes to speak with everyone in private, one by one. You first, go and see the Queen. Come closer. Ah, that's unlikely. An earthling. Our dear Gracchus was right. Allow us to take you for a walk. We need answers. Fast. And don't you try to fool us, Ascended One. Unlike our dim-witted half-brother, we don't dwell on old legends. Hold on. Could I also get some answers? Like, maybe right now? I have no clue whatsoever what's going on here. My memory is one black hole and nobody tells me anything. Like that Gracchus. What was he right about? Harden us. We have spoken too harshly. We didn't know you were kept in oblivion. Our dear Gracchus says the Keepers are scheming. We are here to investigate. We presume that they have tried to make you part of their scheme. Yeah, I wish I could confirm or deny that. Well, rest assured that nothing you were told here is true. You can have faith in your queen and confide in us. Now, come with us to the cliffs. We shall show you something. This used to be a breathtaking view. Glorious Wardinia. But now, the world, once orderly, is distorted. The rats can sense the change and lurk behind its veil. We also have those other lurking problems, Your Majesty. Indeed, Marshal. Let us finish. You see, Earthling, ghastly things are now vexing our realm. 
twisted abominations, lightning weapons. We are here to put those monstrosities to a halt, yet the burden lies too heavy on our shoulders. If not a king by our side, as many say, we could use a friend right now. I have been here for literally just a few hours. Putting monstrosities to a halt probably wouldn't be my forte just yet. Being a friend, though, that could be arranged. Guards, bring those traitors! Friendship is easy to proclaim, Earthling. We would prefer actions that speak louder than words. Tell us, friend, have you seen any such atrocities here? Warped mutants, lightning weapons? If so, speak freely. Our wrath will not fall upon you, and our gratitude is generous. No mutants as far as I can tell, and all they gave me were shitty cold weapons and cold looks. They have some advanced weapons, though I have even seen a steel sword once. That's all. We wish we could believe you. Our sources say otherwise, though. We were hoping to find definite proof, but it seems this visit was in vain. This makes the situation even more complicated. Patriarch Maltis, we have sufficient information to believe you and Tobias were plotting treason. Is this Earthling part of your schemes? Would you care to clear your name? Or should we have the whole monastery thoroughly searched? Our men would surely find a secret passage or two, given enough time. And believe us, our present rage is nothing compared to the havoc that would be wreaked upon your head then. Speak up, or... Your Majesty, be old. Fortress is under attack. Rats again. How unsurprising, yet unsettling. back at once. Marabufus can't hold the fortress effectively with the limited crew he has. You, take two more men. Stay here and make sure nobody leaves this place. Incarcerate the culprits, of course. And give them what they deserve. They deserve a fair investigation, dear Gracchus. You, Marshal, and the rest of our guard shall follow us to the fortress. Let's squash this pesterous rat rebellion and feed the bodies to his pet. Then we shall return to investigate further. Another rat attack? After all these years? So unfair. Mauling the traitors for us. All the real fun for old Buffus. Still, he won't get out of this one alive. He might. With his fancy armor, wearing our substandard crap, he would be dead. <laughs> <laughs> see that too. You mean that huge ugly man blob that dragged Maltis away? And that's something I can't unsee. At least those guards got what they deserved. Beating a defenseless veteran? Shame. Justice has been served, albeit by a monster. Do you get those a lot around here? Mutants, giant rats? The biodiversity here is disturbing to say the least. 
That attack was disturbing. Those stinky rats will try to burn down our beloved city next. Why would they do that? Because they can't just accept our natural superiority, of course. Anyway, we should leave before the Queen returns. She was also rather disturbed. Luckily, you fetched that lightning rod in time. Yes, with the emphasis on that luck bit. I hope my sneaking times are over. I almost failed, and the Queen would have then... I don't know, probably killed us all? I'm certain she would have had us all kicked down the cliffs, or worse. Yeah, no doubt. She seemed to be totally off her rocker. Since you've proven yourself, Silver, I'll accept you as my apprentice. You can call me master now. I wasn't really expecting that. Well, thank you, I guess. Master. Are we seriously doing this? Thank you, Master. I'll need your cooperation to get out and deal with the rat problem. I would hate to rot here forever. Count me in. Master. Ugh. Count me in, Master. So, how do we take care of the rat problem, Master? The guards have treated me in a rather harmful way. I could benefit from some medical assistance first. You're starting to sound like Maltus, you know that? Well, I'm his deputy in charge now, and with great power comes great vocabulary. Anyway, I would need you to find me a med kit. We were handing them out to our crew. I'm sure they left some behind. Check the cells above the training ground. Should I expect more man blobs, Master? Or anything else? Maybe. That's why you should first visit our secret armory. Here is the key. I hereby give you permission to use the mighty lightning rod. You shouldn't be handling it, but alas, we have no other choice. I am honored, but wouldn't it be more useful in your hands, Master? I will be relieved not having to operate it anymore. Forbidden weapons were the Patriarch's idea. Just bring me a simple katana. Also, equip yourself properly. It might prolong your life cycle out there. Well, your pep talks are keeping their high standards, I must give you that. I will do my best, Master. Interesting. Ah. Captain's log one zero three zero eight eight zero seven two one. First day awake on Wardenia, Forceville State, satisfactory. Needed to modify the terminal extensively. Luckily, I can update the rest remotely. After modifications, coverage will be sufficient to make the belt work properly almost everywhere. With the last update, the belt is now fully operative, also as a life support system. Meaning if I get killed, it revives me. Marvelous. This should provide me with enough leverage when dealing with those Naburu technocrats. Which, I recall, was never easy, even after the ship's training systems uploaded the same language to our brains. So, this should help if the discussion gets heated. Note, aging is still a factor, so not full immortality. Focus on the possibility to revert to a younger physical self while retaining all the information, later when there is time. Project Holo help, mixed results. My hard light companion...
Usually I'm not one to complain, but ah, could you hurry up with a med kit? How are you feeling, Master? I would be feeling much better if you had the med kit for me. Yeah. <laughs> 